Welcome to RPV City Talk. RPV City Talk is brought to you by the City of Rancho Palos Verdes to inform the community on recent city matters. RPV City Talk is a weekly show that features the RPV Mayor, City Council, or City Employees. Welcome to a very special edition of RPV City Talk. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. And I'm Maria Soraya. We are here at the beautiful Terranea Resort celebrating the city's 40th anniversary, Liz. That is right. This is the city's 40th anniversary gala. 40 years ago, the city was founded. And the theme tonight is 40s and fabulous. And everybody here looks fabulous. Of course, some dressed in 40s like you are. Yep. I've got my 1940s due. And That's right. get, getting ready to get out there and do some swing. Great music, great food. And of course, an amazing venue here at Terranea. That's right. Now we're going to talk to some people and find out what they think is fabulous about Rancho Palos Verdes and I have a feeling Terrene will be in that list, Liz. Absolutely. So let's go check it out. RPV at this incredible 40th gala celebration. What an amazing event. It is extraordinary. It's we have our our World War II Flying Tiger Squadron flying overhead right now. Do you hear it? It is so wonderful. We're waving. <laughs> Talk about how important this is as a milestone for the city. I mean it's 40 years since incorporation. Everybody out there, all of you in uh, TV land, in Rancho Palos Verdes and Palos Verdes land are to be commended for keeping this uh, low density, semi-rural environment that we have managed to maintain. Um, that was a yeoman's effort and it continues to be a strong effort to preserve it. I'm now being joined by Executive Vice President and Managing Director of Terranea, Terry Hack. You've done it again, another splendid party here, of course celebrating the city's 40th. What do you think of this wonderful milestone happening here? We're so excited to play even a small role in this incredible celebration. And to have it here, have so many of our friends and residents here, it's very, very exciting. We've been talking to residents about what they love most about RPV, 40 years, trying to find sort of the top 40. Terranea is definitely high on the list. How about for you? You live in the community. What do you love most about Rancho Palos Verdes? The residents. They have been so wonderful to me personally, to my family, and to our resort. And we wouldn't be standing here today having this great celebration if it wasn't for our wonderful residents. So I'm so happy to be part of this community. Alright Andrea, so we are having some fun tonight. We know it's the Land Conservancy's 25th anniversary and the city's 40th, but we want to know what is your favorite thing about Rancho Palos Verde? Oh my goodness. Well, I obviously think the open space is amazing. I personally love Forestall Nature Preserve so much, which is gorgeous in the springtime. It's one of my favorite things. And I just love the vistas. I mean, my drive in to work every day is a pleasure because of the open space, the, the ocean, and it's, it's a really great community. I enjoy working with the staff of the city so much, and it's just, it's really a, a pleasure to serve in this community. It's a wonderfully close group. We noticed that you have a lovely 40th outfit on. Um, I do. I'm wearing a vintage 40s dress, um, my own shoes, and some vintage jewelry. <laughs> Well, it's a fantastic anniversary. I'm so excited to be able to be here to help RPV celebrate. I'm still very excited just to be able to represent this great city and the entire peninsula. And anything that people need help with, please feel free to contact my office, and I'll try to help them up in Sacramento. You're new to our district, but since you've had some time to spend here, um, we're asking people, what do they enjoy most about Rancho Palos Verdes? So far, your thoughts on this city. Well, the beauty, uh, number one, uh, I mean, just being here, you have the ocean and just a fabulous weather, and it's a really nice hometown feel to the city as well. I actually grew up in a small, uh, small hometown, actually, and so this has that feel, and the people are incredibly nice and very charming, and just a very nice city uh, to be able to represent. Favorite things about Rancho Palos Verde since we're celebrating 40th anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> Maria, it's basically the people that are here tonight, uh, you know, we have 42,000 wonderful residents. Uh, it's just having, you know, the sense of community with everyone here, and that is really what 
it means to me tonight and celebrating this 40th anniversary is to have a sense of community. That's you're, you're so right because we see so many people that we see at a lot of events, but everybody really came together to celebrate the 40th. Yes, they did. I mean, we have a fabulous turnout. Uh, we, we expected maybe a couple hundred people, but we have close to 400, I understand. So it's wonderful. It's, it's really great. I just love the fact that we can walk the coastline and be able to watch the, the marine life. And we're going to move on to Tim Weiner, of course. He is with the Emergency Preparedness Committee as chair. What do you love, of course, trying to keep people safe in the community? Well, I love living in uh, Ranch Palace Forty just because of the sense of community, and it's really great to see how people pull themselves together in times of emergency. That's what I do on the Emergency Preparedness Committee. But uh, I've known people here. I grew up here, and I've known people like uh, Laura since I, since I was a child. So it's just it's wonderful living in a real neighborhood in a place as big as Los Angeles, but something as uh, you know neighborhood like as Ranch Palace Forty. And we have Laura Hines. Jurgens. He talks about the sense of community. What do you enjoy so much about this? My neighbors, and he is on the board, but of uh, the Monaco Homeowners Association. But I love where I live, which is overlooking Three Sisters, the Land Conservancy um, part of the park that has all kinds of wonderful animals that are coming back now that the park is open and. We even saw a coyote when we were out on a walk the other night, and it's great. And somebody said to me, now, what do you like? And I say, I like the weather. And they say, well, what about the weather? And I say, it's warm and warmer. <laughs> <laughs> and coming from New York, that's saying a lot. A lot to appreciate here. I think the real question is what's not to like? I mean, <laughs> what's a fun thing you guys like to do? Uh, well, come here to Terranea and enjoy the view, enjoy the uh, uh, beauty uh, of the peninsula, and uh, the fine company from the. Uh, everybody in Rancho Palos Verdes is wonderful. People do comment about the community because everybody comes together a lot here. Yes, we enjoy coming up here to just walk along these uh, pathways right here. It's beautiful and we enjoy it so much. It's very special to have with us Geraldine Ryan. You are married to Bob Ryan, of course, one of the founding city council members on the very first city council. Bring us back to that time, um, you remembering the city being founded and how special that was. Well, I just remember that there was grassroots efforts and my kids were very little and even Lizzie, she was pushing the cart with her little brother and they were putting um, pamphlets in front of every single door that we, could re that we could reach. And I think the vision that these founding fathers had was is very good, it's still upheld wonderfully. And I think Bob, if he was still alive, he would be very proud. Thanks to the volunteers, the staff, and uh, to the mayor and other council members, and everybody who helped to bring this together and make it happen. I'm so excited for them to open the doors and to unveil uh, the tables, the settings, and all that we have to enjoy, the fabulous food. So thanks. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> you enjoyed the Flying Tiger Squadron and that was a wonderful um, presentation that we only had a few days notice for so we were, we hope everybody out, was out there to see it. Um, this is a wonderful wonderful evening and we're so blessed to be here in Rancho Palos Verdes and to have the people here we're representing all the cities on the peninsula. Um, because you guys are the ones who make it happen, happen from years ago. I'd just like to take a minute uh, to reflect on this jewel we call Rancho Palos Verdes, looking quickly at yesterday, today, and tomorrow. As for yesterday, we fondly remember and cherish our history and all those who toiled long and hard to bring forward a unique vision for our city, making the dream of a new city on this peninsula a reality. It is on the backs of so many that we sit here tonight celebrating our 40th anniversary. We are forever grateful for the efforts of those who laid that foundation and for the efforts of the countless individuals who over the course of the last 40 years worked so hard to make Rancho Palos Verdes the spectacular city it is today. As for today, we collectively work as a community to diligently carry forward the vision of our founders, to protect and safeguard what has already been accomplished to conscientiously address the challenges that may and do occur, 
to improve and grow our city without losing our unique identity, and to set the foundation for the generations of tomorrow. With respect to tomorrow, we work as a community and strive to educate and cultivate the next generation so they understand and embrace our unique heritage. We urge them to appreciate and protect the abundance of the natural beauty we have around us, to value our quality of life and our lifestyles, and to understand their role in ensuring that the founding vision continues well into the future. With that, please raise your glasses with me and toast to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. It's yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Salute. All right, we found a table of a lot of former council members. They're gonna tell us what they love most about Rancho Palos Verdes. What is your favorite thing about RPV today? That I'm not on city council any longer? Oh no, wrong answer, is that running? Look, this is the best place to live. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous community. The landscape is world class. The weather is world class. And the people are world class. What's not to like? Top, top three things that I, I recall. Number, number one is our community. All the things that we see and, and say about it are true. Second thing is, there are so many volunteers in our community. And the th thing, and I underscore this, is the phrase former in front of any title enhances it greatly. Now I'm not only being joined by a former mayor, but also one of our city founders, Ann Shaw. We're talking to everyone tonight. What a fun night. Are you enjoying yourself? It's a wonderful night, and it's so great to have the city 40 years. It's hard to believe. Well, you were one of the women that worked really hard. Now, 40 years later, do you feel like we're preserving the dream in RPV of the founders? Is, are we preserving the dream? Uh, to a large degree, absolutely, and uh, yeah, I think so. I think people feel that, you know, what we started is very, very important, and some of us are still hanging around, hanging around here, and we can, if they go astray, we can set them straight. We, we know you keep everyone in line. We're asking people what they enjoy most about RPV today. What do you love about the city? I think I love the, the open space and the fact that we really did indeed uh, do what we hoped to do, keep the density low, keep the open space open, and uh, preserve the quality of life that everybody enjoyed even 40 years ago. I'm here at Taryn Ann tonight enjoying this terrific party for the community to celebrate our 40th anniversary. And there are a lot more people than you think that have been here for the entire 40 years. And, it's, and, and, I, and I've met about a dozen of them myself tonight. And they have got a treasure trove of history and the, the, the battles that they literally had to fight to make Rancho Palos Verdes the city that it is today. So I guess, I guess if you've lived here for 40 years, you don't want to live anywhere else, right? I'm not going to live here any I'm not moving anytime soon. No, I, I'm just really excited that I was able to, to be here tonight and, and to represent these good folks on the city council. So we're asking everybody tonight, Brian, the 40 most popular things about Rancho Palos Verdes. So what is one of your favorite things about RPV? The culture of RPV is, without a doubt, the most open, welcoming city I think that exists on the West Coast. And I'll give you a good example. You can move here and be new to the community. If you want to play a role in it, if you want to be a volunteer or volunteer on one of our city commissions or run for city council as I did as a relative newcomer, they're open here. They are open, they're welcoming, and you can be anything you want in Rancho Palos Verdes. I'd like to say this also, our, our current mayor this year, Susan Brooks, was the one that took the lead on putting this party together. And she did an extraordinary job. So thank you, Susan. It's a wonderful honor to be here with Dina Friedson, Betty Field Strauss. You are two of the women that helped found this city 40 years ago. We're so proud of the work you've done. But this is party time tonight. Are you ladies having a good time? Yes, definitely. It's a very good time, very nice time. I think it's a splendid event. I what do you love most about Rancho Palos Verdes? Well, you ladies worked hard to preserve the peninsula, open space, low density. You did it all. When you see RPV today, what are you most proud of? What do you love? I love the way they preserve the open space areas, the pa uh, passive parklands for the enjoyment of everyone. 
you, Betty? What do you love? Oh, I love walking along the cliff and looking at the ocean. And the geology of the cliff is fascinating. And I think it's fabulous to preserve this in pub public space in the L.A. County coastline. Well, I'll be enjoyed by the former mayor of Rolling Hills, Godfrey Purnell. It's wonderful to talk with you. We're going down memory lane, talking about the founding of RPV. The whole community came together, including your city, was so important, and your mayor, Fred Hess, he did so much to help find RPV. Talk a little bit about Fred Hess and what he did to help found RPV. Well, there was a great concern about the random development on the open space of, of uh, the peninsula. And Fred, I, I don't know if he was the founding president, formed, but he and others formed a, a, an organization called Save Our Coastline, SOC. And Fred was very, very active in that because he didn't want to see uh, uh, our city or, or the peninsula degraded by this by this randomness and he was so taken with that he actually uh, uh, went to the association board and assessed each property in the community to support SOC to support the Save Our Coastline and 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 with that he was he was just you know to what is one of your favorite things or places about Rancho Palos Verdes the Point Vicente Interpretive Center <laughs> tell us how long you've been involved uh, about six or seven years and I'm a volunteer there okay. and I sort of uh, administer the uh, grants and we have uh, four programs right now uh, Three of them are from the uh, for the Peninsula School District, and they cover uh, junior docents, the uh, middle school, and then the elementary school. And we have one outreach program, which is the uh, uh, program for low socioeconomic uh, kids. Primarily, they come from the Los Angeles School District, but we have some from the Torrance area too. And uh, and. You guys all do such a great job in, in getting the kids involved in the program. What first got you interested in being a part of it? Well, I like uh, to help kids, okay, and I like uh, the uh, environment and the habitat, and uh, that's how I got involved. I'm being joined by the Mayor Pro Tem, Jerry Dehovic. You gave the toast this evening. What was your message tonight? You know, my message was simple. Uh, there was so much history in RPV. So many people worked so hard to bring this city to fruition, and I wanted to recognize those individuals, not only the ones, the founders, but all the people over the last 40 years that really worked hard to make this community what it is. And that brought us to today. The theme was basically yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Um, so we talked about the founders, we talked about all the people over the last 40 years that brought us to today, all the people that are currently working to keep that vision alive and to, to keep this community the way we have it, the way we like it. Uh, I also talked briefly about the future and ensuring that the next generations understand the founding visions and that, that uh, they, they uh, hold to those visions and make sure that the city is what it is today because I think that's what everybody loves, the way we are today. It's so great to be here tonight celebrating uh, the 40th anniversary of uh, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And as everyone said, this is paradise. And, uh, you know, I used to roam uh, Rancho Palos Verdes when Marine Land was here. Uh, so now to be here at the beautiful Terranea Resort is it, just so spectacular. And with the Mayor Susan Brooks and the council members here tonight, it's just a lovely uh, celebration. And this city really is a model city for really all the cities on the hill. I live in San Pedro, so uh, we're neighbors to Rancho Palos Verdes. But it really is such a well-run city. Uh, they do things right here, and uh, it has such a spirit of hospitality and graciousness in this city. You always feel welcome. You always feel warm and happy when you're in Rancho Palos Verdes. So I just wanted to be here tonight to add my bit of congratulations to the city. One of the things I, I love about RPV, and the reason I moved here, is the beautiful natural setting that we have. We have a wonderful community with wonderful people that are, are, are fantastic in terms of making the city a great place to live. 
but it's all set within a beautiful open space area that uh, is unparalleled anywhere up and down the coast. And the event here is at Terranea tonight, uh, which used to be marine land. Um, and Terranea has these gorgeous trails you can walk on, but you can resort, enjoy the resort too. So it's like the both sides of living beautifully, not only if you want a nice hotel, but then you can go out and enjoy nature as well. So that's, I love about RPV. We have it all. Right now we're standing behind you is this exhibit because city's 40th, Land Conservancy's 25th anniversary, and 100th anniversary really of the founding of the peninsula with the Vanderlip purchase. What do you think is important about these milestones and as you look at the history of the city, what comes to mind for you? I think they all speak the same message. When Vanderlip came out here, he saw the beauty of this coastline, the beauty of the pastures, and he, he bought it sight unseen, actually. But when he came out and he surveyed it, he just, apparently, he just, just really was loved the beauty of the area along the coastline here. The Land Conservancy is all about preserving some of that natural open space so ourselves and our children can enjoy what's here. And, of course, the city itself was formed uh, because the county... Excuse me, Don. The county was not being responsible <laughs> about uh, developing along the coastline. They want to have high-rise condominiums and so on. And uh, the people formed together to put it in within their own jurisdiction so they could preserve that beauty for generations to come, which includes 40 years later today. All right, it's terrific to be here with Frank Vanderlip's grandson, Kelvin Vanderlip. A very special evening, lots of milestones, the city's 40th, but 100 years since your grandfather purchased the peninsula. Talk a little bit about the legacy of the Vanderlip family. Well, it's just been a miracle. I mean, if my grandfather hadn't been smart enough to come out here and buy this property, I wouldn't be here. So none of that would have happened. I'd be just another East Coast guy. So it was a long time ago, and uh, when he was here, there wasn't a lot out here. But now we've got the city, we've got thousands of people in there dancing at <laughs> huge noise, and uh, a really nice party. So we've lucked out. It's really, we've come a long way. You know, my grandfather's vision wasn't, wasn't practical. He had this idea for 100 acres, mansions, fox hunting. I have videos of fox hunting back in the 30s here. And, uh, so his ideas were great for his time, and now we're living in our time. Being joined now by Deputy City Manager of RPV, Carolyn Petru. Tonight, though, 40 and fabulous. You look fabulous. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. What a fun evening. It's great to see everybody here, and everywhere I turn, I see friendly faces and familiar faces. So it's a wonderful evening. Wonderful evening, and the city staff work really hard to put this event together. You did these amazing centerpieces. Talk about what you were hoping to accomplish, the feel of them. They're gorgeous. Thank you. Well, what I was hoping for was 40s glamour. You know, when I think of the 40s, I always think of uh, feathers. Inexplicably, I don't know why, but I, that makes me think of the 40s. And just glitter, um, you know, and romance. So uh, that's what's kind of inspired me to create the centerpieces. You look very 40s tonight. Talk a little bit about your wardrobe. You got the victory rolls in your hair. Yes, I watched, I'm telling everyone, I watched a YouTube video on how to do these. And so then I just used a lot of hairspray and bobby pins. And of course, hair flowers were very, very big in the 40s. So decided to do that. And then I'm wearing um, jewelry that belonged to my grandmother. So, yeah. So as I continue on my journey to find more former mayors of RPV, two of our famous mayors and women that were on the council for years. You did so much for the community, but we're asking people tonight, what do you love most about RPV today? Oh my gosh, the views. <laughs> Everybody loves the views of Rancho Palos Verdes and all the open space. And how about for you? What do you love so much? Um, well, I got here by getting married to a man who was already living in RPV, and I said I fell into paradise. And the first time I ever came to RPV, it was April, and all of the ice plant and the, per the, the hills were purple. And it was just so gorgeous. And I still enjoy the flowers and the, the ocean. You know, I travel by the ocean every day on my way to school, and it, I just marvel that I'm allowed to do that. You know, it's a gift from God, I think. You two ladies were gifts to the council. As you look 40 years later, I'm wondering, Marilyn Lyon, well, how do you think the, the founder's dream has been preserved? If, has the council's been able over the years to preserve the dream? Yes, they have. We paid attention to the vision of the very first council. No dense development, and there was a reason they had for that. 
It's such a lovely lifestyle here in Rancho Palos Verdes. People from all over the country now come to the beautiful Terranea Resort and see what we've preserved here. And one of the things they walk away with is how much open space there still is able to enjoy all the natural environment here. And I assume you're enjoying tonight's party? Oh yes, absolutely. It's so much fun to see everybody again. And also to be here as a former council member and a former mayor, and we don't have the responsibility and we have all the joy. <laughs> I'm being joined by one of our favorite RPV couples, the Pinkums, wonderful artists in the community, Dan and Vicki. Talk about Terranea being here tonight, all your beautiful work surrounds us. Well, it's wonderful that they first have asked, you know, for us to be a part of this. This is such a wonderful celebration. And we've, I've been on the peninsula most of my life. And I remember when it was formed. And it's really exciting to see the city have, has come together like it has. And the residents have come together and still keep focus on uh, what their first priority is. For you two, your priority is painting, and you share your beautiful artwork with our community. Talk about just the fact that what you are able to capture here, just the local beauty of the area. Um, well, that's one of our favorite things to paint is the beauty, the, um, I mean, it's all around us. That's why we, why we moved here. All right, I'm with Fort Jackie Backrock served sir, sir, 14 years as an RPV City Councilwoman, former mayor. Thank you for all your years of service. Here we are 40 years later. How do you feel about the city today? Has the dream of the founders in your mind been preserved? Absolutely. I think there's we, we've got an incredibly dedicated community who works every day in one way or another to keep it as beautiful as it was when we started. Talking to everybody today saying top 40 things about Rancho Palos Verdes being the 40th. What do you love most about the city, you personally? Any favorite spots, just things you enjoy? I, I love the coastline and I love looking when, I, when you're coming down Hawthorne Boulevard, right after you pass the, the park on the corner and you look towards the ocean, that's my favorite view of all. I love that. And uh, the, the trails along the coastline, the way we've preserved it for everyone in the community, makes me very proud. for this very special edition of RPV City Talk right here from Terranea. I'm Luz Brown Swanson. I'm Maria Soraya, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.